I think we did eventually come up with what the city may have been, but I cannot remember what it was now. Should I save this political power? I'm sure I'm not going to have any need for it. Def definitely nothing looming on the horizon, which may or may not require political power. Mm -mm. Nope. The Desert Rangers declared war upon the Jackals. Was it Billings? No, Billings is further away. It was somewhere really small. Was it Missoula? Might have been Missoula. That sounds right. Whilst we control a large amount of territory outside of our holy cities, much of that has yet to properly see the light. In an effort to avoid another sack of New Jerusalem at the hands of disgruntled outsiders, we have more or less opened our borders for all those seeking a peaceful life, helping our relations with the tribes around us significantly, but hurting our Mormon dominance. So yes, apparently the sacking of New Jerusalem has happened. For the most part, we can keep rival power bases in check, but two groups are of particular concern to us. The Brigham Barons in the north, led by the young industrialist Rachel May, and the Farfield War Band, led by Marcus Furness, whose parents led the original sack of New Jerusalem. Whilst neither of the two are openly rebellious, we fear one or the other may soon be if we do not take action to help them and their followers feel a part of the country. A revolt should be avoided at all costs. And we also got Construction Basics and Ohm's Law. Marvellous. Let's continue with the construction so we can keep getting the construction speed. And... Resistor is actually ahead of time, so we're not going to do that. I think it's time for industry planning. Or... Nope, that's ahead of time. That's ahead of time. Division training time's not very useful. That's all ahead. Those are all ahead. Yeah, I think basically everything else is ahead of time, except for doctrines. We, we probably should start a doctrine. And last time we were going to go conventional warfare, and I'm going to continue doing that. I do hope that we cap cure all the wealth in this playthrough. I would think so. I remember something about an actual road being called Heaven's Gate or something. Yes, that was in Missoula, wasn't it? Hope you're well. Just got up from a three-hour nap. Oh, Kalinas, I'm jealous. I think our puns have reached maximum capacity. Was the bug fixed with the duplicate events after the reload from the other day? I don't know. Uh, this is with the newest patch, not the in-dev version. And I said to the uh, developers not to worry about the um, bug I was suffering because it was an older version. Like, not their problem. As a Uton, I live in Ogden. I can definitely say that New Jerusalem is Salt Lake City. New Canaan is very close to Ogden of the Wasak. Front from points south to Provo to points north of Ogden are basically one large city containing many small cities and communities. There you go. <coughs> Shame Sindrin's not here to see all the puns, he'd be proud. That's true. This playthrough shouldn't be a problem since all of our sages soldiers are really cap cape cap capable. Okay, so decision time. Brigham Revolt. I keep reading that as Brighton. And Farfield Revolt. So, we have a couple of decisions about what we wish to do. We can build dwellings in Farfield, which will cost 10 political power. We'll use up a couple of factories. And we need to do four of these. So this is Southern, 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 Northern, 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 Northern. We need to do four southerns and three northerns. So of the northern ones, we definitely want to start with the long time. So for example, this one. Build military industry and bring them. Reduces scrap metal by six in New Canaan, but allows us to get another arms workshop. Is that actually a good exchange? Six scrap metal. That's effectively three factories worth of equipment. 
and basically one civilian factory worth. Although I guess that one building slot is going to get multiplied by technology. Yeah, it's a good example. It is, it is a good investment. And we're going to do the same thing with the consumer industry. So we're basically losing 12 scrap metal here. Worth it still. So that's one northern, one southern. Uh, increasing the perceived threat of the White Lakes I think is a good idea because it will allow us to start reacting to them quicker. For 40 days we'll have less max planning but I don't see that as a huge issue. Also this is probably my favourite new track what we're recording at. Etsy Chow. It's a, cool, it's a cool track this one. I like it. One more pun, I will incapacitate you. No, I capitulate. It's hard to capitalize on this. I hope we don't need to bring in capital punishments. Pun ish. Oh, that's good, Zay. That's very good. I hope we don't need to bring out capital punishments. That's good. That that's very good. <clears throat> How's the new update? Are the bugs gone from when I last played? I am three months into this game, so too soon to say. I'm finding this stream captivating. I like that one too. You guys are awesome. Um. So what else do we want to do here? This is now two northern, so we need one more northern. So it's either going to be the expand northern garrisons, which loses us 80 uh, manpower, or conduct the training exercises, which is a temporary penalty for 65 days. I'm quite happy to do a temporary penalty. So that should be all three of the northern states that we need to do. And then the southern states, we've got one, we need to do another three. So we can build dwellings, which will reduce our civilian factories for 60 days, which is actually a fair, fairly bad hit. We can lose political power for 20 days. I mean, that's only 20 days. Uh, encourage Southern Enlistment will give us more manpower. Reduces mobilization speed, but that's irrelevant because we're not really at war. So I think we can do this one. That's two. Supply southern markets, resource gain efficiency minus 10 for 100 days. There is no way we're going to have the industry to actually make use of all the resources we have. So that one is fine. And then we need one more. So it's either meeting the southern leaders, which is expensive up front and will cost us political power, or it's the use of three civilian factories for 60 days. It's two months. And we've only got, what is it, five civilian factories. Nope, we've got three. We'll effectively build nothing for three months. Or we'll lose 20% of our political power for 20 days, plus the 40. Uh, so that's going to be 0.2 political power for 20 days, which is maths. 4? T4? And we do get a fair amount of political power. I don't remember really struggling with it. So I think I'm going to take the political power. And that's all four of the southerns. That's all three of the northerns. That should be us sorted. And we'll continue building the infrastructure. Washington Brotherhood took four states. The Olympus tribe have been annexed. That was actually a very quick annexation. Crikey. What was this? Quarterly income. That's always going to terrify me when that comes up. I kind of wish there was a way of making this so it didn't pop. So it didn't get the red thing going, Ah, you need to check this! Well, we are a captive audience. You're almost at 150 cap. That's true. Two are being used by the scavenging setup. That is also true. 
How many caps from the game does one cap represent here? No idea. On a non-pun related, have I thought about renaming channel points something Viking related? <laughs> Need, perhaps. Or raiding further. Or what about just gold? Tea crates. Yeah, I really do need to do something more with the uh, the stream points. And actually, I did close the screen from before. So let me just bring this up again. It was on the dashboard, I think. And then it was... Gosh, where did I find that before? I don't remember. This is something I'll need to look into again. Moderators, remind me. Because <laughs> it is something which I definitely feel like we could get better use out of. Raid the English Coast, la 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 la, like the Paradox song, yeah. Decadent clutches finished. So now we just need to wait for these to trigger. So it's going to be time for the growing threat. Down to the south, past the 80s and their tar walkers. Down close to the Colorado, a tribe that calls itself the White Legs resides. This tribe is rapidly militarizing and seems hell-bent on conquering Utah for itself. But it won't come this far north. Right? Right, and we can also change our government and I feel like we can afford this we'll wait for the one extra point there it is so we now have 150 we cannot industrialize right this is all military these are economic no we are self-sufficient we can't go to wasteland I think there's a focus that is required to change that we could take the economic advisor But I don't see that being really useful. Cultural. Also not hugely useful. Major businesses. Infrastructure concern. Here we go. We could build infrastructure faster. And then factories faster. So we could go for the rough and ready shovels and then Freeman's fixers. I don't think we want to get any of the manufacturers just yet. Although we must remember that they exist. We could also go up to the military academy. So that we can start recruiting commanders sooner. But this does reduce our political power gain too. Longboats. That's a good one. Any on. Um, research advisor. I don't think it's going to be very useful. Although that does increase conventional warfare research significantly. Oh, and there we go. There's actually a good reason to go research. Uh, that. Gideon. Loss of stability but increases planning speed. And max planning. I think we can have two of those. Sorry, June. Aircraft construction cost. Naval construction cost. Joshua Graham. Joel Harrington. And then David Turin. I mean, David Turin probably is actually a little closer aligned to what I want to do. But how can we deny Joshua Graham? Hmm. Don't care about the training levels just yet, I don't think. 
I mean, the bonus organization will be really nice, but again, we're not at war, and I don't have any intention of going to war for a while. I think I'm going to take the infrastructure concern. Rough and ready shovels. Seeing as we're doing a bunch of infrastructure construction right now. I still haven't had a chance to play the uh, Happy Trails DLC. I'm guessing that Joshua Grayman's involved in there. I know who he is, like... That's all been explained to me already. Washington Brotherhood took eight states. Yakama Nation was annexed. So Washington Brotherhood having a very successful opening here. Which is a little unfortunate. Did we finish the scavenging? Six days. The Reclamation Authority! Jeremiah Rigdon has decided to construct a reclamation authority devoted to promoting scavenging in the wasteland. This will give our nation expertise in scouring the wastes. The old world secrets will be ours. Oh, yes. All right, so we can send out manual prospectors. Now, bearing in mind, this is the new system, so this is all new to me, so exciting. So the manual prospectors will cost 100 caps. It'll cost us 50 manpower and 50 infantry equipment. And we have a 55% chance of found finding something, 22% of Old World Blues, 11% of Death Claws ate the team, or 11% of Contact Lost. Scavenging with vehicles does increase the chance of... Scavengers Triumph. 15% uh, of them finding nothing. 15% of Death Claws ate some of, our, some of our team. Not all of the team. And then 10% chance of loss. And then dismantle the scavenging program, which I'm actually going to disable. I'm going to scavenge for vehicles. We, we, we build vehicles, we might as well. So this will still cost 100 caps. It will cost us 10 motorized and 50 infantry equipment. Works for me. Send them off. I hate that sound effect being used. It freaks me out every time. Every time! Industry planning. Let's get that. Troll Warren declared we're on the Carcass Walkers. So in the Broken Coast game, we actually saw the Carcass war uh, Walkers beating Troll Warren. Why does this map feel so big? Because it is pretty big. It's in a relatively small area, but it's just so well done and in such detail that it does feel huge. Hey, Miss Tony. Why does the sound effect freak you out? Because it's the sound effect of Edie engaging an enemy. Basically means there's bad guys around here and I'm going to shoot them. It's okay to make fun of Graham, he's used to being roasted. <laughs> That's awful. So inspection's done. And that's the uh, ED stopping fighting sound. That one's a lot more calming. That's the, oh gosh, we survived. How did we survive? Thank goodness sound. The combat language. It's Western US, size of most of Europe. I think continental US is the size of Europe, so it's not the size of most of Europe. It's the size of, like, France and Germany, maybe. Which, granted, is a fairly big area. The followers of the Apocalypse first... Ah! Followers of the Apocalypse. The followers of the Apocalypse first originated in the Boneyard, one of the NCR's sprawling settlements far out of the west. Since their creation, the followers have gradually expanded and trickled across the wasteland, finding followers and sympathizers as they spread. Whilst the core of their followers remain more or less confined to the NTR, advanced parties work their way across the wasteland with the mission of teaching medicine and helping those in need. One of these advanced parties, far to the south, became the tyrannical legion led by Caesar, and took one of our own sons from us in the process. Now another advanced party has come to us, in Utah. They offer the secrets of pre-war medicine in exchange for peace and hospitality. Can we trust this party? 
unlocks focuses relating to the followers of the apocalypse and we lose a little bit of stability uh, it's going to unlock tomorrow isn't it not seeing them although it has unlocked the followers of the apocalypse here so I think you need to do that one first Caesar's Legion took six states. Twisted hairs have been annexed. Caesar getting stuck in early. A growing threat. Finished. So now we can't do any of those because the White Legs haven't done anything particularly threatening. Meaning that we need to go back over to the followers of the apocalypse. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. This gets us a bunch of political power and also a new civilian workshop in New Canaan. We are now up to six. Just tell me you didn't visit the quarry in New Vegas with ED. Yeah, that's why I have nightmares. Because I did. Oh, this is very cool. I have to try it out. It is. Highly recommend it. This and Kaiserreich are easily the two best uh, mods for Hearts of Iron. With... Uh... Special note for Great War. There's four. What's the other one? Oh yeah, Road to 56. Alright, so we can modify the government again. And I'm kind of feeling like we probably should. So, let's. Uh, do we want to get the factories now? Or do we want to get the generals now I think we'll go for the factories we'll, we'll make sure that they're in place ready for usage when we're ready for them the scavengers triumph in the ruins of an ancient factory our scavengers found pre-war goods a caravan of trucks is bringing the expedition to plunder back to New Canaan this is a great triumph for us a mighty step into the future we gain all of the manpower back, all of the equipment back, all of the motorized back, and 50% research bonus for support tech. Excellent. How much does it cost to send you again? 20 political power to send out manual. Industry planning and woodworking done. those. That's too far ahead of time. Okay, so now we need to start thinking about whether we want to go work as needed or work assignments. I think last time we went work assignments because it has more factories in state. And we have been trying to get as many factories in the states as possible. We are relatively well developed, although comparing us to, for example, Broken Coast, we don't have as much. Work assignments is just more industrial. Yeah, I'm doing work assignments. I like my industry. And let's go ahead and research gliders. Trader trouble. Trader's been the lifeline for the Canaanites over the last century. In the early days of the settlement, caravans brought enough goods for the faithful to survive and thrive, allowing the construction of much-needed new buildings and the successful cultivation of the surrounding land. As New Canaan grew, so did its influence over the caravans that crisscrossed Utah. Mormon translators were in high demand to strike deals between the tribes and the traders, and Mormon peacekeepers endured the roads of Utah, ensured the roads of Utah remained free from raiders. That song's a bit loud compared to the others. However, over the past decade, our relationship with many caravan companies that operate in our lands have deteriorated. They claim the tariffs we are placing on them are too excessive, and that we're taking too large a cut in the deals we help strike. Sure, we might be doing this, but this is, not the price they sh is this not the price they should be paying for our services? 
So again, we lose stability. But we do also gain 200 caps. Huzzah. Okay, so what are we still short of? Probably support equipment. Let's do one more in there. Although we could definitely do with developing dynamite and getting some support units going. Uh, let's take a look at this. Let's just change you to that icon. And... I want to try to train a couple more of these if I can. Alright, now what are we short on? Spec Ops. Well then. No, oh, we've already got two on Spec Ops. No, I don't feel like we need more. Oh yeah, the Cazadors are horrible. That's true. I think I had more trouble with the Cazadors than Death Claws. Desert Rangers took three... Oh boy, almost spilled the tea there. Three states and stole a bunch of equipment. <sighs> Alright, do we want to send manual prospectors? I think we do. We'll just keep those ticking over. It's not like we're short on caps right now, which is nice. Combat language is done. That's going to lead to decryption, which will allow us to see what people around us are researching. Pioneer Day. Today is Pioneer Day, a major Mormon festival celebrated yearly by the Mormons of Utah and beyond. It was on this day in 1847 that Brigham Young and his followers arrived to Salt Lake City, where they would go on to found Salt Lake City, or as we now call it, New Jerusalem. Whilst New Jerusalem is a mere shadow of the grandeur Salt Lake City possessed, every year we can see more progress towards the rejuvenation of the city. So, in honour of our progress towards a new tomorrow, on Closer to God, tonight we shall feast, dance, and sing our songs. Gain stability and political power. And song. Followers of the Apocalypse. Done. So we could start bargaining with the traders. Or we could start working with the followers. I'm going to go ahead and embrace them. Oh yeah, and this gives us the better medical technologies. Which we definitely want. It makes us have a little bit of decadence, but I'm okay with this. Beloved. It is a faithful thing you do in your efforts for these brothers, strangers as they are. Increases decadence. Decadence will erode our political capital and available consumer goods factories slightly, but increase our stability and elite drift somewhat. Adds technology, refined mixture. Scorpions declared war on the Mojave Raiders. Meanwhile, we can modify the government again if we were so inclined. Um, 